Shall we rise to our feet this morning? in the house of God today I just want you to think about the goodness of God that God has been with you when you look at where you're coming from where you at you can only see the goodness of God and it doesn't matter what seems to be impossible you must always remember that God is still good and he will always be good amen and he's doing great and mighty things hallelujah let's just bow our heads and pray oh father we thank you we give you glory, we give you honor. There is no God but you. There is no king but you. We want to thank you, Lord, that once again you've given us an opportunity to come before you and worship you. What a privilege, what an honor, oh God, just to know that you care about us, just to know that you are our father, you are our protector, you are our friend. There is no other God besides you. There is no king besides you. Even in times, in trying times, God, you remain faithful. In times that seem impossible, you are still the God of the impossible. Father, we thank you. We bless you for our homes. We bless you for our families. We bless you for this nation. We bless you for this congregation. And we say, may your name alone be glorified. May your name alone be lifted. May your name alone be praised, oh God. We say, Lord Jesus, have your word in this place. Holy Spirit, we, we invite you. We acknowledge your presence in our midst. There is no God but you. There is no king but you. Even in the season, Lord, we are saying you are reigning, oh God. In the season, we declare, oh God, freedom to the captives. In the season, oh God, we speak healing, oh God. In the season, we speak deliverance, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you for the provision. We thank you, O oh God, for the blessings that make us rich and add no sorrow. We thank you, O oh God, for restoration. We thank you for mending the broken heart. And we thank you, Jesus. You alone are worthy. You alone are mighty. And this morning we're saying, be exalted, be magnified, be enthroned high above every other name. You are God who is faithful. You remain faithful from generation to generation. What a mighty God we say. What an awesome God. God you are. What a faithful God you are. We worship you. We adore you. We ascribe greatness to you. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The Rose of Sharon. The Alpha and the Omega. The soon and coming King. We worship you. We worship you. Receive glory. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. You are worthy. You are holy. You are mighty. What a mighty God you are. We worship you. We acknowledge you. Hallelujah. You are worthy to receive glory. We worship you. We magnify you. Oh Jesus. You are holy. You are mighty. You are great Lord. We worship you. We worship you Jesus. We worship you. We worship you our God. And our King oh God. We worship your name. Be thou exalted, be magnified, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As everyone in the house says, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
hearts I see every day, every moment that your goodness I see running after me in every situation. Your goodness follows me, your goodness all around me, your goodness behind me, your goodness ahead of me, your goodness in any circumstance, Lord, your goodness, oh God, your goodness, oh God, your goodness, oh God, I see your goodness, Lord. I see your goodness, Lord. I see your goodness, Lord. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good.
Yes, Father, we love you. You are a good God. We love you, Jesus. Just go ahead and love him. He deserves to be loved this morning. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus.
this morning from the bottom of our hearts only one thing we want to declare from this altar of Jesus Christ you are awesome Lord Jesus you are awesome Holy Spirit you are awesome Father you are awesome in spite of all the things that is happening around the world we want to declare you are awesome you are awesome you are awesome you are awesome oh church let's take a moment to worship the awesome god this morning the last sunday of june 2020 we are alive because of our awesome god we can breathe because of our awesome God. We are here in the sanctuary to worship because our God is awesome God. People have perished. Strong people have perished. Rich people have left. Educated people have perished. People with have big, big social status have gone. We are alive because of our awesome God. We cannot take anything grand. Tell the Lord we love you. Father, this morning we completely surrender our lives before you. Father, 2020 has not been a easy year. But one thing we are confident. Nothing happened in this universe without your knowledge and without your plan and without your purpose. So we yield totally to your purpose and your will of God. Father, thank you for preserving. And we know that the season of COVID-19 coming to an end. God is going to bring a great light. Thank you, Jesus. We commit the world around, the people, families, club who are under attack. We pray there is a transformation, there is a reformation, there is a revival, there is a true knowledge of Jesus Christ, true hunger for God is going to bring into this world and it has happened and we are witnessing and Lord we surrender for you to be used to God. As we sit at your feet this morning, we commit the nation of Zambia, 
our president, our ministers, Lord, every citizen of this nation, every Lord, spiritual, legal, financial needs of this nation, Lord, you will bless the nation of Zambia, our God. We pray for various nations that are representing house of prayer, oh God. We pray God's favor, faithfulness, and protection will be upon all the nations, oh God. Lord, we also remember the nation of Israel, your peace and protection, oh Jesus. Lord, this morning we are here. Lord, only one thing we ask, come and manifest your glory. Lord, let the throne of God, the river that flows from the throne of God, flow in this place, not angle level, not knee level, not the waist level, but to swim in the presence of God and look God whatever we have carried in this place we will not carry back there is a solution there is an answer there is a healing there is a deliverance there is a salvation there is a strength there is a voice of God you are releasing to us bless oh God thank you father for the healing and the restoration you released upon Elder Ethel Mulenga family and Mam Changala family continue to comfort and strengthen them, O God. Anyone of our congregation is going through various challenges, we pray your hand of protection and healing, O God. Bless, O Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. And that is His. Can we give a round of applause to appreciate our God if you truly believe the Lord is an awesome God? Amen. Amen. And you have appreciated God. Look at your neighbor who is seated one meter away. If he's not a one meter away, don't even look at him. Look at the neighbor left to right friend who is sitting one minute. Just wave him or her and say, my neighbor, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me take this beautiful, awesome opportunity to welcome you all to the last Sunday of June 2020. The six months of 2020 is almost finishing. We are saying within a few days, bye-bye. It has not been easy, but thank God for God's grace and faithfulness, God's protection, God's covering. Hallelujah. Shall be your stand. Just close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Close your eyes wherever you are. The primary purpose we are here to worship Him. That is the primary purpose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we sang the last song. You are awesome. What a privilege God has given to us to fellowship with only awesome God where you can pour your heart, where you can bow down where you can kneel down, where you can cry. You may go and kneel down somewhere. People will look at your court. Where you can go and weep and cry. People may call you. What happened to this man and woman? But when you are before the throne of the most awesome holy God, he just stretch out his loving arms and tell my son, my daughter, here I am. Hallelujah. Church, this morning as you are here, Close your eyes. If the song you don't know, don't bother to follow the song. Tune to the throne of God. Let your Holy Spirit connect to the Holy Throne of Jesus. Enjoy the presence of God. May the Lord speak to you. May the power of God fall on you. As that happens, there will be miracle taking place in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Oh, ring up.
We are the territorial forces. Strong men of this territory. Spiritual, legal, physical to the forces. And loosen the Holy Spirit. Let your people be free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you. Let us, let your people carry an unforgettable encounter of Jesus this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Let's quickly turn to the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27. We will finish the service soon. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27. Also, the time, let me read verse 9, 10, 11, and 12. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27, verses 9 to 12 reads, Much time had been lost, and sailing had already become dangerous, because by now it was after the fast. So Paul won the men. I can see that the voyage is going to be disastrous and bring great loss to ship and cargo and to our own lives also. But the centurion, instead of listening to what Paul said, followed the advice of the pilot and of the owner of the ship. Since the harbor was unsuitable to winter in, the majority decided that we should sail on, hoping to reach Phoenix and winter there. There was a harbor in Crete facing both southwest and northwest. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. This morning, we'll continue of coming uh, Sundays. The title of the message which the Lord has spoken to me is Experiencing God's Amazing Care in the Midst of Chaos. Experiencing God's Amazing care in the midst of chaos. Let me repeat again. Experiencing God's amazing care, not just care, God's amazing care in the midst of chaos. No one thought 2020 going to be such a chaotic. Everyone including us. 2019, December 31st night. We had service on 1st of January, early morning. We stepped into 2020 with a great expectation. But thank God, he still is sovereign. January. When it was end of January, we are, we are begin, middle of January, we heard a part of the Asian continent, there is something called Corona. Some of us, first we thought they are talking about the old Corona car, Toyota. Because I remember in Nairobi, I used to have a Toyota Corona. Then only we realized it was not finishing there, it had spread. When we reach March, the world, it made the world to stand still. But in India, world faced a chaos. People have asked, people have, I could, I have read messages in the social medias and newspapers and TVs uh, accusing, mocking God and the religious leaders. Where is your prayer? Where is the pastor? Where is God? And this, can they forget? Well, is it mocking? There are a lot of things. But in spite of all that, my God remained faithful. And our God remained faithful. And 
this morning as the last Sunday of June 2020 as we sit here in I all of us including myself we can say from the bottom of heart I have experienced God's amazing care in the midst of this chaos if you don't have anything to write it and explain to the people the reason why we are seated here itself is a, a profound evidence God's amazing care God's amazing care so this morning beloved saints of God there is a difference you must understand we need to differentiate between a worldly person and a God child of God a worldly person without a true God when he or she heard hear or see things that is happening beyond their comprehension understanding began to talk a lot of things positive or negative or trying to understand but a child of God when he or she see th things are happening which he or she cannot understand what does he or she does he or she try to connect that events to the plan of God which he has revealed in the eternal word of God when you and I connect that God speaks my son my daughter these things are happening is surprising you but it is not a surprise to me this is my eternal plan of fulfillment if I make it very clear let me repeat that statement these are the sign my son and daughter my second coming is near church let's not be complacent with our earthly things you we can see people are getting used to the new normal of life and life is getting back to the normal we have forgotten about suffering even we have forgotten about the mask we have forgotten about everything corona forgotten but what don't forget the second coming of jesus is near so yeah, I, coming back to the scripture When we read Acts of the Apostle, chapter 27, according to the theology and right to the topic of Paul's fourth missionary journey, his journey from Jerusalem to Rome. And on the journey, it was not smooth. Journey was not very, that voyage was not very pleasant. It had chaos after chaos. It had a conflict after conflict. But in the midst of all that, when you read the scripture from 27 onward, we could see the God's amazing care. That is a simple word I wanted to release to house of pre congregation. What Apostle Paul experienced, not again. Let me, it's not a, a theological uh, proving sermon. It is a message that God is going to touch our practical life. As we see, when God, when we experience in God's amazing love, what few things I want us to highlight. We will pick it up on coming Sundays. The first thing I want you to know is when you are under God's amazing care, God has a word for you in every season. That is where I am connecting back to God has a word for you for every season. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor, God has a word for you for this season. Connecting back to the statement I made that this is the unique difference between a secular person and a child of God. A secular person, something happened, he has to find a word to speak. He had to find a reason to prove. He had to make a statement to release. But when a child of God, when he or she face something, thing, what does he, he is not the one who is making a statement. He is not looking for word. God speak to him or her. My son, my daughter, here is my word. Here comes God 
chapter chapter 27 if you read verse 9 to 10 here we could see much time had been lost opposed there along almost 200 i think the word of god says 276 people on board in a ship including many of them are prisoners and the crew left the word says in verse 9 much time had been lost they had spent more than expected calculated time then it says which says and the sailing had already become dangerous not only they wasted time the journey has been dangerous as you sit here let me speak to somebody's life you are seated here the life journey you have been doing your urge was not to be smooth and this morning you are here not telling anyone pretending everything is okay smiling to everyone the Lord says to my brother my sister God has a word for you in this season God has a word he says the sailing has been the word is very clearly says it's dangerous then he says then the another thing is they made the journey against the time which God allowed, that's what it is. If you read verse 9 says, became dangerous because by now it was after the fast. That means Jewish festival, the time of sea wages were not allowed on that particular few months because the sea normally get rough. But hallelujah, this is where, you know, something God spoke to me when I was meditating on this scripture. When you are a child of God, called, which we have been looking at, looked at the past, you are called by God. Wherever according, I am not talking to the past, I am talking to every child of God, a man of God and woman of God who is seated here. When you are called, and when the enemy wanted to attack you left and right, what does he do? Even he take you to where off season, where the enemy can put your life in the most dangerous place. But the enemy does not know one thing. In the midst of that most dangerous thing, there is an amazing care of God. That's why Apostle Paul could say in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, a sea at the danger at the sea. Nakedness or oh, without food tonight, this morning, as you listen the word of God, let me declare to you you may be a sailing a most dangerous voyage. The life and the everyone has been totally against you. My mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, where the Lord's amazing care may be upon you, and you will experience this morning. It was, that is the time God speaks through his, that is the time. When you go through, there is a word, God comes. Hallelujah. That is what we, what is the word here, verse 9. Then verse 10 says, man, I can see that our voyage is going to be dangerous. We will look at it the, the, uh, later. In the midst of most dangerous voyage. Here is a God who comes down. That's why Isaiah 49, Isaiah 49 verse 15 and 16 say, can a mother, very well known scripture, can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she bore? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hand. Your walls are ever before me. Hallelujah. You know, it has, it is, our palm has a peculiarity one. When you want to rub your face, you use your palm. And before you, the palm reaches your face, your eyes have detected everything on your palm. If there is a dust, if there is a mud, if there is a dirt, you will not do what you do. If you are from a village where I come from, Then we do. What does that mean? When my God, Lord Jesus, who sitteth on the right hand of the Father, 
Bible says he intercedes for you and I 24 7 who does not sleep or slumber when you are hallelujah in a danger we could see in the acts of the apostle where they were stoning the Stephen when they were stoning Bible says oh Jesus stood what made him stand? when he was he could I, this is my imagination I'm seeing he could not see his beloved servant of God stoning and before he about to receive his spirit he received he spread his palm he see the Stephen the name hallelujah before he pick wherever hallelujah, I declare upon you you need to understand when the Bible says your name is engraved in the palm of the hand of God you are always visible in his eyes hallelujah when he wanted to cover his face he sees Royanson hallelujah when he wanted to wipe his face he sees his name Royanson and he wanted to take and give something he see the name Royan I pray that the name will be manifested the power of God upon your life because of the amazing care of the Lord Jesus Christ oh hallelujah yes God who God has a word for every season. Second, God always proves that he is with his people. In his amazing care, he proves always he is with his people. Now we are looking to the verse 10. Here comes Paul, in a man who received the voice. He stands and releases his word apostle paul being a great prophet a great man of god he knew what he has been releasing not his it, he was a very qualified man not he understood i am not giving a methodological opinion he understood being a sailor, being an educated man, being a Roman citizen, being a multi-billionaire in that time. He's not telling, looking at the time and season and his experience he had gone through. He's telling the captain and the pilot and the centurion and to the people in honor of the ship. Sir, this is not the time to move. He is saying because he he knows God has spoken to him. Beloved child of God. Because the purpose God is speaking through Paul. Is not anything. Because he knows. It is God is not concerned about the ship. We will come back to the later next week. God is not concerned about the asset. In the, in the ship God is concerned about caring about the mission which is in the poor he has to accomplish in Rome hallelujah I'll be prophetically declared to you that is the only reason corona cannot finish you and I it is not anything because there is a mission God has put it in you in our nation let me put it very clear. In the reason why God has kept safe. I was talking to I, show, I was talking to someone yesterday on the phone. That person really shook me. I said, My sister, do you know the person was not the person was not a believer? So I talked to the person, my sister, do you know why God has kept Africa safely under his power? from this COVID-19 apart from this world then she when I explain it is God has a purpose for the continent of Africa and every citizen who lives in this season in Africa if one of them perish God knows that will hinder his purpose so he will not allow then she asked me a question pastor that means God is unfair For a human, it may be unfair. But God, there is nothing unfair. He moves according to his will. He moves below because Paul spoke that word. Paul knows. Hallelujah. Why I am saying, brethren, you are carrying someone in this ship as a prisoner. He has a divine assignment. 
Hallelujah. I prophetically declare Job business, family, your husband, your wife, your children is not just a human being. He is a man or woman who has a divine purpose. That's why treat that child, treat that husband, treat that wife, treat your parents with that relevant because he or she is carrying a heavenly purpose. The Apostle Paul says, speaking, oh hallelujah. And also, that ship is carrying, according to Apostle Paul's simple term, ambassadors of Christ. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor. You are an ambassador of Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20. We are there for Christ ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. You are Christ. The yeah, ambassador of God is in the ship. Hallelujah. Thirdly, yes, experiencing God's amazing love in the midst of chaos. Not only God has a word for you in this season. Not only God allows always prove that he is with his people. Never get discouraged when events are taken by majority's opinion. Never get discouraged when events are carried away or taken or established by the majority's opinion. We live in a democratic country. Our dealings are on democratic way. If you have a board meeting, how do we agree? Majority's opinion. In the, or even an election, how do we elect somebody? Majority's opinion. But God is not a democratic, he's a theocratic. He declare, hallelujah. Let's look at it here. If you look at verse 10 again, 11 and 12 says, 11 says, but the centurion, instead of listening to what Paul said, followed the advice of the pilot and of owner of the ship, since the harbor was unsuitable to winter it, the majority decided that uh, we should sail on, hoping to reach Phoenix and the winter there. This was a harbor in Crete facing both southwest and northwest. Never one of the things a child of God get been carried away by or get discouraged. God gave you a vision. God gave you a mission. God speak to you. You go and tell someone. You go to tell your friends. Your family. They totally turn against. Then the decisions are made by majority's opinion. Here we look at Apostle Paul. A powerful man. This is the one of the things every child of God. Please engraved in your life and practice it. When God says something, speak it. After speaking, shut our mouth. Then, maybe, let me use who? Godfrey Shindano. If God, God said to Godfrey, speak to Ryan's and ABCD, he spoke. Brother, I'm using an example. He spoke. And I may go. I may not agree. When I see that, I Cannot understand. I may disagree. But for him, what he should do? He release it. He closes his mouth. Why does he go? He goes back to his closet. He connects to the one who gave him the word. Hallelujah. Lord, you gave me the word. I released to Pastor Royanson. My job is done. Prove you are the God. Just to continue commune with him. If I agree or not agree, none of his business. That we could see Apostle Paul here very clearly. What is it? When, when Apostle Paul gave this revelation, what did he say? People look at natural means. What did he say? Centurion rejected. The one he said, hey, Paul, you are a prisoner. Okay, if you read the centurion, Julius had a special concern for Paul because of the servant of God being a Roman citizen. And But he said, you Prisoner, you don't know what you are doing. I know what I've been in this field for a long time. Your experience cannot overpower the will of God. Your experience cannot supersede God's plan. Your experience cannot oh, over. Oh, your experience cannot stop even God's will. But it is better surrendering our experience at the hand of Jesus so that the will of God can be fulfilled. Centurion said, sir, thank you for your input. But we are continuing. Then took the advice. 
advice of the pilots said, hey man, forget about this guy. He is a whatever, he is a prisoner. We are taking him to Rome to finish him off. We have been in the sea for all the season. Every month, I know where can work. Then the owner, then the pilot spoke down. Ah, forget about, I am the one. The money, you see this thing, is my money. I, 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 I've been in this sea for a long time. I know what. Then look at then what he says again. Oh, look at the condition of fair heaven. Where the place that looked at, looked. And if you go into the historic fair heaven was a small harbor which was not a good place for some people to remain on the winter season. So that even if you stay here, sir, it is not safe. Let's go to Phoenix where we have a special provision for us to spend time in the winter. That place is safe. A good holiday time. You can, your ship is safe. Our uh, crews are safe. Oh, all the people on board are safe. We can peacefully stay there. Ha -ha. Oh, hallelujah. Then the word of God says, majority agreed. Majority agreed, but Apostle Paul kept silent. This is where you need to understand. When you receive a revelation from God, we don't go and defend to the people. When you receive a revelation from God, you don't go and argue to justify people. When you receive a revelation from God, you release it and connect to God. God will can carry it. Never get discouraged. Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, don't get discouraged. Then the fourth, learn to be quiet and observe things. After you release the word, we could see from that, if you read the scripture from down onward, after Apostle Paul spoke verse 10, the next time Apostle Paul is speaking at verse 21. Days have gone. If you read it down, days have gone. Paul is silent till verse 21. Oh, hallelujah. Today, this morning as I am releasing this word, I am releasing upon everyone who is seated here. Whatever thing has been happening in our life, we have been talking, you have shared all the prayer requests, you fasted, prayed, and nothing has happened, and you are still struggling. My brother, sister, the Lord says, let's go back to God. Let's go back to God. When others are busy working things, now we could see in between, verse 10, 11 to 21, you could see the people who refused to listen the voice of God and began the voyage. They are struggling to work out their journey. But here is a man of God who has gone in silent. He is connected. This is where I wanted to tell you, then we are concluding, we are finishing. Then we will pick it up. Here, people who did not listen the voice of God, they are busy struggling to move the journey. But the man of God who received the voice of God, he doesn't know anything. Hallelujah. Why he doesn't know anything? He is connected to the throne of God. When he connected to the throne of God, then we will read on next coming Sunday when we look at verse 21. God said, my servant, let them work out. You are under the amazing care of my hand. Hallelujah. People have been fighting. They are throwing things out. Using every technology. This is the time. Pilot realizing. Ah, my calculation was wrong. This is the time. The owner of the ship began to feel the pain of losing assets. While he is seated in the boat or ship, without knowing which part of the Mediterranean Sea we are. And the word of God said they have not seen anything for many days. And they could see ships are breaking. They are throwing things out. But here is a man of God, verse 10, who gave a word. Brethren, this is not a time for you to move. 
what happens there he sits he enjoy the presence of god he enjoy why he is enjoying he knows i will not perish because i have an assignment and because of i have an assignment the 275 crew members including the passenger all to on 276 including paul on board will not perish because when you are associated with the man with the voice of god no one will perish today i declare a prophetically because you as a servant of god you as a woman of god as a man of god as a father at your house as a mother at your house as a brother sister at your place since you listen the voice of god you have been moving with the voice of god Community, society, people are against you. They are struggling, but because of your sake, they will not perish. You will not perish. The reason there is an assignment you have to accomplish, and the people who refuse, they have to testify. Hallelujah! Look at your neighbor and say, "My neighbor, the one who opposes you, will testify the goodness of your God." Hallelujah! That is what the God does. That's why Hebrews seven twenty three to twenty five says, "I know there have been many of these priests since death prevented them from continuing in office, but because Jesus lives forever, Hallelujah, He has a permanent priesthood." What does this? Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him, because he always lives to intercede for them. There is a God who lives to intercede. Apostle Paul understood. Apostle Paul understood. One more thing, then we are concluding. Never get discouraged when when the events are taken by majorities and learn to be quiet and observe things. Then we must understand all the positive signs in life is not from God. This is I am sure two weeks before we looked at. when we were looking at god's faithfulness we said all negative things happens in life are not from devil the same way there is another thing all the positive signal all the green signals you see in your life is not from god you need to discern that's why you look at here when apostle paul released this word Everybody opposed. Said we know better. If you read verse thirteen, we could see there was a green signal. Suddenly, the natural has opened. Said as very nice. The word of God when a gentle south wind, a gentle south wind began to release. They said this is a sign. This is why, beloved child of God. if you are in christ discern everything what we face in our life positive or negative good or bad the enemy can bring enemy thought hallelujah this is to win to will enable the centurion pilot owner and the majority on board to agree the ship on voyage to move so that the devil will decide that we will perish them in the sea many of us as a child of god including as a pastor we are carried away by the many green lights which seems to be so good which seems to be so good If you are not married, every man, every woman who comes see beautiful, it is not the one who fit into your life. Don't everyone? There is a one God has made suitable, a godly. If you are a person looking for job, there is not every some jobs have been looking very attractive. Last week we had a powerful testimony of our mom Patricia Band. The job was not. promising but god had an eternal plan god had a salary has been very mean 
but god has done it she had her including pastor royens and brought many better job to her but she said i refuse i also told mom don't because god has a plan beloved child of god as you serve discern what is from god discern what is not from god hallelujah holy spirit hallelujah oh because the one who showed you that gentle south wind is the indicator of a hurricane called northeaster is coming many children of god many saints of god many pastors perish because they saw this gentle wind to us suitable i pray in the for, to the house shall we all stand we have done shall we all stand i pray in the name of jesus hallelujah in this tough especially in this season worship team you can come to the front in this season as especially in this tough season hallelujah people are going through tough time financially business wise economically is tough time everybody is looking for an opportunity so that they can continue their life smoothly beloved child house of prayer family when an opportunity comes don't accept every green signal saw from god some of the green signals to destroy your journey some of the, some of us have delayed in life to reach because we have see taken a path which was shown a green signal which was not even the plan of god as a part the journey delayed we could see here the journey delayed not only delayed it more it brought the disasters the boat lost ship lost cargo lost time they supposed to reach in a particular time in rome they could not reach hallelujah the devil will show every sign so that we will not reach our destination which is our destination is heaven hallelujah he will bring many 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 green signal he will bring a very gentle south wind to blow before us it may be in the form of business it may be in the form of job it may be in the form of a relationship it may be in the form of a contract offer or whatever it is so may be fit to you sing but before you take it oh, listen again from the god listen from god listen from god is it is god's will in my life because i am a child experiencing god's amazing care in the midst of chaos especially you are hit by chaos let the lord who spoke to you let him confirm hallelujah i i wanted if the captains in spite of going back to paul uh, paul look at what is happening I I'm sure they may be mocked to Paul and say you said to Papa Paul this is not the time to go can you see the weather has changed they might have mocked they might have laughed they might have parted but to then that time the man of God say the one who spoke to me he is faithful his word no one can change yesterday today and forever the same this morning as you stand close to your eyes lord has spoken to you god has spoken to you certain things as a result god has spoken to you nobody is there to support you nobody is there to stand with you nobody is giving agreement and you are alone and at this moment you saw a gentle south wind in line with the people who are opposed to you are you ready to take their side or are you ready to stand on the word that the lord has spoken to you i pray in the name of jesus as we are concluding the dead so half of 2020 june may the lord who oh, showed the amazing care in your life in this season may the same god continue to minister to you in your life in your ministry in your family in your education in your business in your job in your souls spiritual life ruda ka bar ka shakara ka lagas oh hallelujah thank you holy spirit thank you jesus thank you lord thank you holy spirit 
right now the Lord is showing me something God is showing me three people you are here in this congregation last month two of you got a contract one of you got an offer of a job and the moment you got it is a very promising inspiring according to your CV but something three of you felt not comfortable with your spirit and they have been battling with that and you have to give another report on the first of July the Lord says beloved this is a gentle south wind gentle south wind listen go back and listen to God go back and listen to God never take a step because of this gentle south wind there is a hurricane there is a hurricane waiting after that I pray the Lord will release that discerning spirit upon you so that we will not regret at the end I pray hallelujah Holy Spirit thank you Jesus because three of you the Lord says God has an amazing plan for 2021 for you where you are God, God is sustaining you and preparing you as I preached on last propelling you to take you to 2021 but if you take this there is a hurricane choose what God says Lord we thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you Lord Lord I pray in the name of Jesus as your people leave the sanctuary they will experience amazing care in the midst of chaos in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and amen please take your seat we are done at this moment the ushers please ushers ushers father we thank you for the giving of your people I pray you will open the floodgates of heaven and release a thousand fold blessing upon your people anyone does not have Lord do a miracle you are a God who release his amazing care upon your people in Jesus name amen thank you church for your sacrificial faithful giving may the Lord bless you amen and amen and amen Thank you, church. May the Lord continue to bless you. For, don't forget, the amazing care of the Lord is upon us. Our friend, our family, people might have forgotten you. I wanted two more ushers for the build, uh, construction. The building committee members are here. Please, two more ushers. Two more ushers from the uh, building committee after they finish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Shall we all stand? We have done. Five minutes we have done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. As the church passed by, if you have dropped what God has given to you, Please close your eyes for a minute before we take the second offering. Please close your eyes. Ushers, we can stand there. We can stand. Those who are visiting House of Prayer first time, you may be wondering why two offering. The second offering, we don't look at anybody who has, we don't force anybody to give. This offering purely goes towards the construction of the sanctuary because of your sacrificial giving we have managed to reach this far and the, it was God's grace it is only through your sacrificial grace so now the building committee members 
as they pass through the offering bag in front of you please if god has given you something please drop it god will reward you amen thank you jesus after you drop you can close your eyes we have done thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you father we worship you god holy spirit we worship you jesus we glorify you lord we glorify you. as i mentioned we don't look at anyone we don't announce we don't force it is purely you and god god knows god never falls god is a god who loves the cheerful giver and house of prayer you have been a faithful cheerful giver in the kingdom of god may the lord continue to bless you may the lord continue to bless you in this season may the lord continue to allow you to experience god's amazing care in the midst of care if you have released what god has given to you i want that to prophetically speak god's blessings upon your life today raise your right hand or both hand if you are able to raise father as we are leaving the sanctuary your word you promise we are in this season going to experience god's amazing care in the midst of chaos father here are your people the mighty man of god the woman of god who you have brought in the house of prayer some of them are ministry some of them are working some of them are doing business some of them are studying some of them are looking for opportunity as they have raised their hands to the heaven as a priest of the house of god from this altar i pronounce the amazing care of jesus financial care spiritual care health care or social relations and everything they need it is open from the flood gates of heaven and released upon them in the name of Jesus oh God today oh God on the 28th of June 2020 from this altar I pronounce may your people be blessed in the name of Jesus let them come and testify and you will bless the works of their hand Lord I pray no sicknesses no accidents no calamity no premature death no affliction no sorrows no chaos will no hurricane will never come to their territory you will preserve them because there is an assignment from heaven because there is a plan from heaven lord bless them oh jesus thank you lord throughout this week cover them under your mighty wing Thank you Lord bring us back on Wednesday miracle night service at 18:15 oh God bless our oh Jesus now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever amen and amen may the Lord bless you richly have a wonderful blessed week may the Lord bless you richly God is with you see you on Wednesday amen at 18:15 As the worship team give us the final song, enjoy the presence of God.
veins His life is through and through The one who put death in his place The one who put death in his place His life is flowing through my veins His life is flowing One more time The one who puts death in his place The one who puts death in his place his life is flowing through my veins. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. Yes, you are. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. Ah! 